bustling city of Manila, the capital of the Philippines, is an exciting and energetic metropolis. Climb aboard any of the colorful and kitschy jeepneys to travel from one place to another in the city. Iconic buses that typically carry more people than they can carry are the primary form of transportation and are worth at least one trip during your visit, just for the experience. Manila is an eclectic mix of modern attractions and rich history, as evidenced by the many cathedrals and tributes to the city's founding in the 16th century and the shopping and service centers of today. The city is located on the coast of Manila Bay, so it's a regular target for typhoons, so it's best to plan your visit outside the rainy season, May to November. Some of the best places to visit in Manila are the important churches and monuments and the impeccably landscaped public parks. Manila has plenty of restaurants serving local dishes, including fresh seafood. For more sightseeing ideas, watch the video for the list of top attractions and things to do in Manila. One of your first stops in Manila should be Rizal Park. Also known as Luneta Park, it is a peaceful and well-kept outdoor garden located in the heart of the city. Throughout the park, you will see statues and monuments that pay homage to the history of Manila's. Noteworthy is the Rizal Centennial Monument, which houses the remains of one of the Philippines' most famous heroes, Dr. Jose Rizal. Be sure to stroll through the park to admire the local flora and fauna. Keep your eyes peeled for the Nara Tree, the national tree of the Philippines, and the small lake with the artistically elevated archipelago structure in the middle. The Quiapo Church is one of the oldest and most admired Catholic churches in Manila. The more formal name of the church is Minor Basilica of the Black Nazarene. Depending on the time of day, the square surrounding the centuries-old church can be quite congested, making it an interesting place to visit to admire the devotion of the Filipino people. Fridays are the busiest days, when thousands of people flock to the square and pray in the church for the novena. Despite the large gatherings of church devotees, this is one of the main attractions of the city. Take the time to see the inside of the church and wander the market stalls outside to buy fresh peanuts, mangoes or necklaces from local vendors. You will likely go through the Intramuros, whether you know it or not as you explore Manila. It is the oldest part of the city and is characterized by its walled fortress. This section of Manila was once a fortified city during the Spanish colonial era between 1500 and 1800. Walk inside the three-mile-long stone wall that surrounds the neighborhood. While you can walk on your own, you may want to take a guided walking tour to learn more about the walled city and its importance to Manila. The Manila Ocean Park is one of the most unique adventures in the city and one of the top things to do for families visiting the city. Get interactive with marine life with the Sharks and Rays Encounter, trails to Antarctica, or the Fish Spa where fish clean your feet in a small pool of water. The park easily fills several hours depending on how many encounters you try. In addition to the state-of-the-art aquatic facility, you will see exhibits of birds and other animals. As a UNESCO World Heritage Site, the Church of San Agustin is a national treasure in the Philippines. The Catholic Church has a unique history which is reflected in the details of the building. If you look closely, you will see Chinese and Spanish influences in the design. The church has been rebuilt several times after battles and natural disasters. Pay close attention to the carvings on the large wooden doors that open into the chapel. If you are interested in history or architecture, it may be worth hiring a local guide to take you on a walking tour of the area and describe the intricate details of the church that you may not notice on your own. For a true exploration of the country's culture, the National Museum of the Philippines is one of the best places to visit. The museum has four main complexes and extensive collections and artifacts related to art, archaeology, anthropology, zoology, biology and natural history. The museum's galleries help make sense of the place, telling the cultural history as well as what you'll find when visiting the city's many historic attractions. Manila is a pedestrian-friendly city, but if you want to explore culture and history more efficiently, consider Bambike Eco Tours. Tours offer a unique and eco-friendly way to see the city of Manila. 
By doing ecotourism, you also support the environmental sustainability efforts of local businesses. Bamboos are local handcrafted bicycles made to measure from bamboo. The company has a social welfare initiative that employs villagers to make bicycles. Depending on your interests, you can select a tour involving history, art or city life. The Fort Santiago site is an impressive stop if you visit the city and is one of the most important historical sites in Manila. The 16th century fortress was the key to protecting Intramuros, Manila's oldest neighborhood, historically known as the Walled City. You can explore the grounds at a leisurely pace. Be sure to take note of the bullet marks that are still visible on the fortress walls and stop at the visitor center for more detailed information about the fortress. While a mall may not be at the top of your list for exploring Manila's culture, Robinson's Place Mall has a surprising number of unique shops where you can find local wares. While the locals shop here, it is also a popular spot for tourists. Keep an eye out for clothing, cosmetics, bags, and food that are unique to the Philippines. The mall is sprawling, so plan your time to enter and browse the shops. The modern mall building stands in stark contrast to the rustic and historic landmarks that surround it. Hidden inside the Central Banking Authority of the Philippines, Banco Central ng Pilipinas is a fascinating museum of money. The galleries have been displaying Filipino money for several decades. There are artifacts, ancient coins, and various coins on display illustrating changes in money over time. For the Filipino people, this collection represents the country's economic stability, but for visitors it is a fun tourist attraction. If you're in the mood for business, head to the bustling Devasoria Market in Manila. It's located in the heart of Chinatown, where you'll discover overflowing stalls selling everything from fruit and spices to flip-flops and beads. This is the best place to people watch and enjoy the local flavor. The lively atmosphere is like a flea market and bargaining is the name of the game. You only have to pay around 50% of the price of an item, and you can often get souvenirs for a much lower price. Thank you for watching. Hope you like the video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube and Facebook channel. Hit that notification bell to receive newly uploaded video. Keep safe and have a good day.